Hi guys, and welcome to yet another Hacking Modern Life video. I don't know about you, but I just have to watch an episode of my favorite show before I go to sleep. But it often becomes complicated when I travel. When I try to watch a movie on my laptop or tablet, it's annoying because the screen is too small and if I fall asleep while watching a movie, I end up sleeping on the laptop. Don't you just wish you could always have a bigger screen on you without having to compromise the comfort even when you're stuck in a hotel that hasn't been renovated since the 1950s? Watch this video to find out how this can be possible. As I already mentioned, I love watching movies, TV shows, anything before I fall asleep. But because I often travel, it was annoying doing that on hotel TVs, laptops and tablets. But after a bit of fiddling around and a bit of hacking, I found a super portable and super flexible solution that works for me and costs only $400. Are you ready to see the magic? Hooray! Let me introduce you to the Nebula capsule. Nebula is a tiny little portable projector that weights only 680 grams, which makes it easy to travel around with. It also has a built-in speaker and 4 hours of battery life. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, as well as external storage and HDMI connectors. It also comes with this cute little remote, or can be controlled from a mobile app. It has a custom version of Android, which is limited, but I'll show you how to upgrade it later in the video. The Nebula comes in two versions, the regular costs $299 and if you want to upgrade the video to 720p and sound quality, for $496 you can get the Nebula Capsule Max. But for me personally the regular version is enough. The Nebula Capsule is a powerful little projector, but when combined with a few more gadgets it becomes an awesome portable cinema system. And you can take it with you anywhere. For your portable cinema you need to make the Nebula more adjustable, for this we'll use the Joby GorillaPod Action. It's a very versatile little tripod, originally designed for action cameras, but it works equally well with the Nebula capsule and gives you some extra flexibility. You can easily attach it to the frame of the bed, hang it from a tree or the ceiling and basically put it anywhere you want. While the built-in speaker in the Nebula capsule is of decent quality, you can improve the sound quality by attaching the Nebula to a Bluetooth speaker. My personal favorite is the JBL Flip 4, which offers great sound quality and volume for just $79. The Flip is also water resistant, has a seemingly infinite battery life of 12 hours of playtime, it's practically indestructible as well. But you could use both a Soundlink or any other Bluetooth speaker. Now, remember I promised a few cool hacks? Here's the first one. The Nebula capsule doesn't come with the Google Play Store, so it's hard to install third-party applications, but it's pretty easy to upgrade to a better firmware that opens up the Play Store. On the Nebula itself, go to Settings, About, and press Android version 5 times, and type GMS Test 1210 in the pop-up window. After that, you'll get an upgrade prompt, and once the upgrade is done, you'll have Play Store along with other Google services. Another thing you can do is add Chromecast support, so you could stream from your phone or your laptop to your Nebula. After you've installed the Play Store, just use that to install AirScreen. It's a software Chromecast emulator which enables your Nebula to behave like a Google Cast device. This next one is a bit more advanced, so if you don't have a Nebula yet, or you don't feel comfortable using a terminal, you can skip this tip. Let's say the only wall you have is smaller than the area the Nebula projects to and you'd love to make the projected image smaller. Unfortunately, the Nebula doesn't offer a way to resize the image, but luckily it's still an Android device, which means you can adjust advanced settings with Android's debug bridge, or ADB. So if you're comfortable with the terminal, just connect your Nebula to your laptop, open a terminal, and type ADB shell wm over scan 050050. And the Nebula's projected image will shrink by 50 pixels from the sides. Type ADB shell WM over scan reset to reset back to default. Together with Plex, 
This becomes one powerful portable cinema. You can either stream directly to the Nebula or use external storage to take your movies and shows with you anywhere. If you'd like to learn more about my personal Plex setup and a few other hacks on how to stream movies to the Nebula, be sure to leave a comment below. To sum it up, for your portable cinema, all you need is an Anchor Nebula capsule for just $2.99, JBL Flip 4 for $79, and the Joby Gorilla Pod Action for $24, which comes down to a total of exactly $402. All the products mentioned in this video are linked in the description below. Thank you for watching, I hope this setup would be useful or at least inspiring for you. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you loved it, and see you in the next one.